the mystery movie. Tonight, Cobumbo. Melanie, how nice to see you. Oh, what a sweet thing to say. But tell me, how did you know that it was I instead of my identical twin sister, Laverna? <laughs> Laverna? Don't ever say that name, Miss Laverna. I hate that name. Never say it again. Never, never, never. You don't like her, do you? <laughs> oh, she's all right. <laughs> but it's you I like. That's why I only dust your half of the picture. We must forgive Laverna her faults. After all, she just likes to tease. What about your mama and papa? Oh, I'm sure their death was just an accident. Lots of people fall out of gondolas. Not in Kansas City. Get out of my way! Oh, there's Laverna now. <laughs> I hate it when Miss Laverna comes home. Miss Laverna is as mean as Miss Melanie is sweet. She kills people, which makes her no fun to be with. I heard that, James. Oh, good afternoon, Miss Laverna. He loves me. He loves me not. He loves me. He loves me not. Good, I'm glad he doesn't love me because I don't love him. Ooh. Anyone. <laughs> Holly want a cracker? Huh? In this world, you get nothing for nothing. Why can't you be nice like your sister? James, you'll die for those words. Just like your mama and papa. No. I drag you all the way to Kansas City. <laughs> well, I'm going to change now for dinner. Oh, James, hmm? your tie's crooked. Hello, James. How's my darling wife, Melanie? Oh, she's just as sweet and as wonderful as ever. I can understand why you married her instead of Miss Laverna. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. yes. Yeah. Victor, I have a plan that I think will amuse you somewhat. Why don't you and I kill Melanie and then we can be married? I think that's a horrible plan. I love Melanie and I hate you. You're the most despicable, disgusting person I ever met in my whole life. I despise you. Yuck, yuck, tweet, tweet, yuck. Yuck. The nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. I don't know. I think I'll surprise Victor by killing Melanie myself. And once she's dead, I'll pretend to be her. And then I can take her name. And then I can be Victor's wife. And then I won't have to talk to myself anymore because I can't stand me either. <laughs> oh, Melanie! Could you come out for a moment, dear? I have something for you. <laughs> How horrible. Poor Laverna killed here in our very own home by an unknown assailant. There, there, Melanie. I know how broken up you are about it. <laughs> you must control yourself, darling. You must. Why, sweetheart, whatever happened to your wedding band? Uh, um, er, uh. Oh, that's all right, darling. I know. You gave it to some poor unwed mother. Right. <laughs> You're so good, darling. James! <laughs> uh, would you mind uh, answering the door?
Don't touch anything until the police arrive. Fingerprints, you know. Huh. Uh, put on your gloves. But I just waxed the doorknob. I don't care. I don't care. Just answer the door. Well, if you insist. Put on your gloves. Mm. <laughs> murder he can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lieutenant Kabumba, I'm so glad you are here. Well, hi, hi. <laughs> it's been this terrible... How do you do? I'm uh, Lieutenant uh, Kabumba, uh, uh, LAPD. I'm a uh, COP. <laughs> nice place you got here. Real nice, yeah, you know what I mean? Real nice, nice and big. I like this kind of a place, you know? <laughs> How much you pay for a place like this? Uh, uh, Lieutenant, I know, I know, I know. Look, 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 lady. Look, lady. I, I know, I know. I know all about it, you know. Uh, hey, this is a nice couch here. Yeah, you know, my wife and I, we got a couch like this. It's not as big as this one, but uh, how big is this couch? I refuse to answer your questions unless my lawyer is here. Oh, so, you refuse to cooperate, eh? I'll just make a note of it. What are you writing down? Oh, I'm going to call your lawyer and ask him how big the couch is. Let me read that. Melanie, you know you can't read without your glasses. Oh, of course, my glasses. Uh, uh, where are they? Where they always are. Oh, um, uh, oh yes, yeah. here they are. I found them. They're where they always are. Ooh. That's strange. Melanie's never had any trouble with her glasses before. Don't you find that interesting, Lieutenant? Yeah, it's a, it's a very strange coincidence, you see. Uh, my wife, uh, she wears glasses, too, you know what I mean? But she only wears them when she wants to read, see? And then when she doesn't want to read, she just doesn't wear glasses, you know what I mean? Uh, listen, uh, can I talk to you for a minute? Come here. Certainly. Can I talk to you? Uh, yes. Where'd you get those shoes? <laughs> my shoes? Yeah, I mean, uh, how much you pay for them? Oh, about $50. Yeah. You think, uh, you think I can pick up a pair of shoes like that for about eight or ten bucks, huh? <laughs> I don't know. I, oh, well, let me, well, in that case, let me ask you something else. Yeah. What? Who killed Melanie? <laughs> Melanie isn't dead. Laverna is dead. This is Melanie. How do you do? Oh! <laughs> all right, Melanie, all right. I'm going to ask you one question, and I want a straight answer. What is it? How much you want for the couch? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, my wife would love this kind of couch. You know, it's, I mean, it's a big couch. Nice and roomy, you know what I mean? Uh, what's in the box there, Melanie? The box? I don't know what's in the box. You don't know what's in the box? Should I? Don't you remember what you brought home from the store this afternoon? <laughs> An organ? <laughs> no. Shoes, Melanie. Oh, of course, shoes. Yes, I remember. Yes, yes, of course. If they're her shoes, they should fit, right? Right. Of course, if they don't. She should take him back and get a refund. You know, you gotta take care of your feet. They're the unsung heroes of your body. Don't stop that! I mean, if they don't fit, that means that she's not really Melanie, but Laverna! Well, you didn't 
try it on. Yeah. Uh, put them on. Oh, don't be silly, try Victor. Try them I on. Don't... Victor, don't put be Put them on, Melanie. Oh, very well. This is absolutely ridiculous. They're my ship. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that proves it. They're her shoes, all right. No, they're not. Don't you see? It's obvious who the murderer is. The wedding band, the glasses, the shoes, it all adds wait, wait, up. Wait, look, 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 look. I'll add it up. You see, the wedding band, the glasses, and the shoes, yes. right? Okay, the wedding band, the glasses, and the shoes. And you carry the two, mm -hmm. you put the wedding band, you, you take the wedding band. The real event, and you killed Melanie. No, no. What's the capital of Nebraska? Oh. Mm -hmm. Melanie always knew that. She knows her state capital. Oh, trip me. Yes, all right. All right, I killed her because I always hated her. You'll never get away with it. Yes, I will. What's that? A gun. Don't shoot. I said don't. <laughs> what the? <gasps> what? <gasps> Why, you're not Melanie, you're Laverna. <gasps> <laughs> All right, all right, just hold it now, hold it now. It all adds up. You're the murderer. Wait a minute, I'm the butler. That's right, and the butler always does it. <laughs> Besides, the guy that's got the gun is always the murderer. I don't have the... <laughs> so, so you got the gun. Then you must be the murderer. Okay, pal, you're coming downtown with me. Oh, uh, listen, uh, can, I, can I ask you something before I go? What? Uh, he's not going to be doing much walking with these shoes. Do you mind if I make a good deal on the shoes with him, uh, lady? Oh, I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. 